Hi, welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. Now I'm at my local stomping ground, Preston Caravans, just near Kirkham. Um, and as I was driving onto the pitch, I also noticed some new Sprites dealer specials. But there were no normal dealer specials, they were Sprite Sunrises. Now anybody knows that, the sunrises were made especially for Robinsons and we all know what happened to Robinsons at Chesterfield they went into liquidation now apparently some of the other stock was also up for grabs as well and Preston Cowans here have bought the stock and they're knocking four or five grand off some of the vans um, which is a real bargain and they've sold about five or six now I was just talking to uh, my mate the sales manager here and he was telling me I said, wow, I said, yes, yeah, this is where the sunrises went. He went, well, we'd like more. I said, you've done quite well with them. He says, yeah, we could have done with some more. Um, so they bought the bankrupt stock. Um, Couplins bought some. Um, and also Golden Castle uh, had to offload there. There were management buyouts at Gold Golden Castle Caravans, uh, which a friend of mine works there, so I'm, I'm glad that he's okay. Um, and we were just talking about Spinney taking on all these other uh, these other dealerships. Uh, I think Spinney now have six outlets. And as we know, the only danger with this sort of thing is if something goes wrong, then you lose a lot of dealers. That's what happened with the Discover Group. Now I'm just looking around here. Sorry. I've just gone on a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, not a rant, but a bit of uh, chattering on. Now, sorry about the wind, but here we go. Here we are, we've got a Robinsons. Yeah, saving since 1963. Uh, Chesterfield has gone, Workshop uh, has been bought out by, um, I think they say, I think he said coupons, I'm not sure. Um, but this was their deal special. Um, now, if you remember, Robinson used to do a lot with Luna with the Ultima, and I've forgotten what the other one is at the top of my head now, but they used to do really well, and I should know because I was looking at the brochures the other day. And um, Robinson's always had a big stand, they're always a busy stand, they always did very well with Luna Caravans, in fact. And um, again, you know, Luna went, that left Robinson's a little bit of a, a gap, and they had to fill it with the deal special, and they chose Swift. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Swift, obviously we know, but so as I say, it might be a bit windy. Um, do my best here, but these are sort of prices we're seeing. Um, four berth, uh, transverse bed, up at originally twenty nine 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 five, sale price twenty five nine nine five. Well, that's a good four grand off, obviously. Um, and at 25995 that really starts to look incredibly good value especially with all the added extra kit there's also some more here this one's up at 32k and it's down to 28995 that's another Sunrise van twin axle they've got a little compact there I don't know where that went but that's sold I think that's sold pretty quickly but all these Sunrises are all the stock of Robinsons. Still here, we've got another four grand off here. 27,495, that are 23.995. Again, transfers, uh, double bed, four berth, and washroom. Absolutely a really good buy. Now, if you're in the market for a new caravan, and this is something, this, this range of Taurus, uh, could be absolutely ideal, especially with this sort of, of, of price uh, knocking down. But I would say you've got to get here quick because a lot of these sold, and there's not a lot left. All on this other side here, they're all sold, apart from a couple. So they've been going really quick. Yeah, gosh, sp just spotted a, a Luna Lara here. I remember going to their um, to the launch of that. That was about 2017, 2018. I can't remember. Um, 
Oh, I, I, every time I see a Luna, I always feel sad in the way it all went. I really do. I see what I have noticed here. I've noticed two electric cars, uh, and they're the Teslas, but they're the large Tesla, which can tow, I think, I'm about 15, 1600 kilos or more. Um, and there's two of those here. But this dealership, this forecourt is really busy with people. They've got lots of motorhomes in, some discounted, four or five grand off, uh, a few elders with a bit of cash off, uh, a few of um, Preston's own specials, their Supremes, they're all eldest. But yeah, I'm going to have a look over here. Right, I'm just having a look around here. Some quite good deals to be had. But what I'm really amazed at is the amount of people that are out and about today. Because the forecast wasn't brilliant. Um, just been across the other side, there's quite a few trade vans. Those are vans that are not quite up to th th their standards, if you like. And they'll go out to another trader and they'll be sold off like that um, at a cheaper price and, um, you know, for the equivalent years. Some dealers don't want vans at any real age on their forecourts. There's a few people moving around, a few salesmen mooching about. Uh, just seen, just seen them there, springing into action. <laughs> There's me hiding. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really going around here. And they've got quite a good selection of vans. But again, these sunrises, you know, really are good. Lots of van for the money. Um, and I think if you're in, let's say, the market for a brand new van, and you want a good discount, and a van with quite a bit of kit, these sunrises are going to take a lot of beating. You know, you're getting four grand off the top models. Just having a look at general stock. A few elegances, a couple of eldesses. Um, and these Weinsbergs, I don't know where these have come from because they weren't here last time I came. Um, I would think the old new stock, judging by this. So I think they've bought these in from somewhere. Um, the Weinsberg, yeah, well you've seen my videos on them. Um, I like the concept, like the idea. I think the styling is a bit iffy, looks dated, and um, but they're a good solid little van, there's no doubt about it, they are a good solid van. Massive big overhead locker, bang your head on it every time I do anyway. Now I believe the Affinity for 2025 is going to become 8 wide. Yes, 8 wide. What's this thing about 8 foot wide? Not everybody wants an 8 foot wide van, honestly. I certainly wouldn't. Not for the towing thing, but just for the fact that I just don't want a big 8 foot wide van. But people do. Now, I'm just having a look around there. Now, I've spotted a hobby down here. Now, this has been for a while. And I'm going to do a bit of a review on it, actually. Because I'm not all that well up on hobbies. I mean, they've been in and out of the UK for, oh, since the early 80s um, and I see another thing I was surprised at actually just I might have just mentioned this before it's two electric uh, cars here two Teslas the bigger ones you know I've got which one that is um, that can tow about 15 1600 kilos I think a bit more can't they uh, between like 120 mile stops and charging up <laughs> but they're expensive cars I'm just going to this Bailey because actually somebody was looking at this before. Oh, yeah. I just think these look so dated now, the unicorn at this sort of era. Yeah. Anyway. Let's try and find this Hobbit. Yeah, I found it. I do feel a review coming on. I've got to review it. I don't know much about it, but I'm going to review it.